Wow, what what is that color? Like, who is she? I'm looking in the viewfinder right now, and I'm like, is that Ashley or is that Will Byers after he came back from the Upside Down? I don't know. I'm just happy to be alive, and I'm happy to be here. So as many of you guys know, I had my ho Ooh, hello notifications. Oh, hello. I had my holiday show. It was on Halloween night. I was super duper excited. You guys know this. And I was ready to live. I was dressed up. Then I got sick in the middle of my show because why not? I got heat stroke at Fifth Harmony, so I might as well get food poisoning at Halsey. Honestly, I always tell you guys, like, I'm gonna die from my favorites. One of these days is going to happen. So I got sick pretty much in the beginning of Halsey's show. I saw like the first couple songs and then the rest of it I heard in the bathroom while puking. I do have to say she sounded great. So there's that. So like I just kind of wanted to talk about the set list, like what I thought of her vocals since that's all I kind of experienced. Um, I did vlog all the way up until I got sick so I didn't want to just like throw away that footage. So I figured this could be like a vlog experience. Chit chat, sorry I look like shit, but I yeah, <laughs> kind of video. So before we get into the vlog footage, though, I just wanted to say a couple things because you guys had a lot of questions about my outfit and my look. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, which you should, hi, hello. This is what I look like. I posted this. You guys really seemed to like the photo. I was like, ooh, haha. I took a good selfie for once. A lot of you guys were asking about how I got the look. I just curled my hair with a really tiny wand and I just put space buns in my hair. And then for the makeup for my eyes, I did just purples and blues. And then under my eyes, I did like a teal color. Put a little bit of wings, some mascara, eyebrows, it didn't contour, didn't do blush, didn't highlight. And then all right here, like where you would contour, I did a mix of purples, blues, greens to create like a galaxy effect. And then just put a ton of glitter just all over it. Also, top is from H&M. The bralette I'm wearing is from Forever 21. Pants are Charlotte Russe. And I just wore my Adidas shoes. So. Cool information. Vlog. All right, she is ready, fam. Am I ready, Amber? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna die at the show? Yeah. I don't really have like a co oh, <laughs> it's my phone case that I'm not taking. I don't really have like a costume per se. I kind of went off of the whole theme of like star-crossed lover, so I did like a galaxy kind of theme. Okay, so basically I'm just waiting for my friends to come get me. Um, we're all going together. It's me, Connor, Davis, Michelle, you know, my only three friends. <laughs> She's really playing drums right now. I feel attacked. Amber, I'm trying to vlog. But my top, I'm like obsessed with. So every time I move, it turns from blue and green. Like, oh. I'm trying to give a look. It's very difficult. I'm not really sure what the final outfits are for my friends. I'm positive I'm the most extra, though, dressed out of all of them, so we will see. Also, real quick, we have VIP tickets. We're not meeting her, but we have, like, the next ticket where we're, like, getting all the perks of VIP, but not meeting her, so that's pretty fun. But it was also because we couldn't pull an extra $300 out of thin air so I have my tickets at will call so we'll pick them up and then there's like a special section we have to go to to sign in for VIP and I think that's because we have to vote for like a certain song that's gonna be played this is pretty cool so VIP gets to vote between three songs which one's gonna be played one of them is a hundred letters the right choice VIP does not vote for a hundred letters and I don't hear one of the best songs on the album tonight we will be fighting waiting for my friends see them in a second Woo, we're vlogging tonight. Mom, my friends are here. I'm gonna go die. Bye. I will. I love you. Peace out. She's so supportive of me. Okay, let's go see my friends. I can't wait to see what they look like. I really hope I'm not like that extra. So ready. Okay, what is your outfit, Connor? So Chinese drug lord? Yes. <laughs> now or never inspiration? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> the Davis looking witchy okay. and bad as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love it. And the Michelle being the classy one out of all of us. Yeah. yeah. The you know, more poor one. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Every fucking way. Construction sales eyes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we parked. We made it. We're here! I'm excited! Except no one is like dressed up. So, 
Except us. Yeah. Except Except us. I mean, kind of, like... I mean, like, some people kind of dressed up, up, but, like, not like a costume or, like, a theme or anything, so... Arizona, you're disappointing me once again. Oh, there's Spider-Man. Okay, we're here for it. (laughs) Okay, probably can't hear anything I'm saying, but we made it. Are we taking a photo? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. (laughs) Okay, so we made it. Got our merch, which I... Shouldn't have spent money, but I did anyway. <laughs> and we made it to the show! Ah! So close. We're so close. I met a lot of you guys, which was super duper cool. I felt so nervous and so awkward, but I'm glad you guys came up to me. So that was me getting to the arena, and then once I got to the arena, I, I kind of always forget to vlog because. I had to go and get my tickets, I had to check in at VIP, and I got my merch. I got this, it has like a checkered print on the sleeves. It says hopeless right here. Do I say the price? Yeah, I'll say the price. This was $60. Um, I know a lot of people are like, why the f would you spend that much money? Um, because merch is what gives me happiness, sorry. That's a thing. And I had a budget for myself. I put aside like $100 for merch. And I only went over it by $10, so that was cool. So I got this, and then I got this little bad boy. That's what it has like on the little, what would you call that? Like, I always call it like the the booby pocket, because that's kind of where it's at. The back, Hopeless Fountain Kingdom installment one. And then something that I found really, really cool with this on the sleeves is where it has all of the dates. I was like, that's pretty interesting, that's pretty cool. Also, since I did get VIP tickets, I got a little lanyard. So that's what it looks like in the front. And that's what it looks like on the back. I'm trying to not get the glare on it. And I figured 100 would be good to spend on merch because with this VIP package, we get also exclusive merch. I just actually got the email for um, like shirt sizes, so hopefully it comes soon. But if I can find a picture of what it will look like, I'll put it right here. So I'm really excited to get that. At least I got merch. You know I can rep my girl, even though I saw her for about 15 minutes. <laughs> anyway, going on to the show, um, I got to watch Charlie XCX. Bitch! Charlie is a performer. I've never heard her live, but I swear to God, she sounded just like the tracks. Like she sounds so good live. If you ever get the chance to see her live, do it. Even if you don't really know like all her songs, you're not like the biggest fan of her, she has just this electric energy and just makes it fun. So here's the footage from that. I wasn't feeling 
the best. But it wasn't anything that like I couldn't manage. I just thought I was kind of hungry or kind of thirsty. So I just sat there, drank my water, whatever. But then Party Next Door came on next. So I don't know if all the songs are supposed to be that intense with the bass, but bitch, it was intense. I haven't even watched the footage yet. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to hear any of it. But here you go. be like that if the sound people just couldn't get it right I don't know but he had like a, about a 20 minute set as well halfway through it I had to leave because I started to really feel sick and I think that was a mixture of like the bass and everything just going in my stomach and I was like this doesn't feel right so I left halfway through the set went to the bathroom got some more water and I was like okay I think I can make it I think I'll be okay then I sit down and Halsey's about to come on and I legit feel like I'm about to throw up and I just sit there and this is gonna sound really gross I was sitting there like trying to swallow it and just make it go away so I was like bitch you've been waiting for this moment for months and months you're not getting sick right now you are not gonna miss this we're gonna get through it if you have to throw up on people, it's fine. So the show starts, and first off, since it's like the Halloween show, she was like, oh, I'm gonna do something different. And it was so cool, she started out with the Stranger Things theme song, which I'll show you in a second. Everyone was screaming because, you know, the lights went off and everything like that, and everyone was freaking out because Halsey was coming on. And then there's me freaking out because I'm like, I know that theme song. Honestly, look at my background. Look at that. So when I heard the theme song, my ass was in the air. I was like, I'm here. I'm ready. Let's f***ing party. Curtain drops. She starts singing first song. I get through about three songs. I think I only filmed one of them. And I was like, there's no way I can do this. I, I have to go. So I was like, okay, maybe if I just throw up real quick, I'll be okay. Because at this point, I didn't know what was wrong with me, but I just knew I was nauseous. So I was like, if I go throw up real quick, maybe I can come back. <laughs> I'll be okay. Maybe I'm just so excited and just so anxious that I just have to throw up. So I go to the bathroom, I throw up, and it just doesn't stop. So that was cool. So what I'm going to do for this part real quick, um, I'm going to show the clips that I got and then I stole some clips from, from Connor and show you guys the show that I heard but did not see. So here you go.
really good show. Um, I have to say real quick, she has a really long set list. She has a 24 song set list. Like, I don't know how she does it. I would be exhausted. But everything was good. VIP, I thought our section or our VIP package got to vote for the song that got played. We didn't, which... I'm a little bitter because a um, hundred letters wasn't wasn't chosen. I'm sorry. What? A hundred letters is always the right choice. Anyway, I was super duper impressed with her vocals. I have gone to two other shows from Halsey, and I definitely see a big, big, big improvement from those shows to this one, especially with these songs being a lot more vocally challenging live than her last album was. So here's the situation. Real quick with like what happened with me now that we got the vlog footage out of the way. I made it, like I said, through about two or three songs and I was in the bathroom puking. I knew I was not gonna make it, so I text my mom because as you saw, I went with my friends and I wasn't gonna ruin the night for them. I was not gonna be there and be like, okay, we gotta go, sorry, I'm sick. You're missing the whole concert because of me because I suck. No. So I text my mom in the bathroom and I was like, hey, can you come and get me? Um, I'm kind of vomiting. Because originally they had like an Uber station, I was gonna go just take an Uber home, but my mom is like, very sketchy about that and was just like no you're not I'm gonna come get you <laughs> so with her coming to the venue I sat in the bathroom and just vomited and just listened to the show and just had my own little party in the stall so everything sounds handy dandy right like my friends are gonna have a good time I'm gonna go home and try to like sleep it off whatever but then it all comes crashing down my mom texts me she says hey I'm out front so I get out of the bathroom I collect all my stuff I walk outside I don't see her car I call her and I'm like where are you? <laughs> I'm like, I don't see you. And she was like, I'm at the um, Talking Stick Resort. And I was like, oh, okay, the Talking Stick Resort. That's like a minute away from the Talking Stick Resort arena. That's where I'm at, I can walk over to you. And she's like, but it doesn't look busy where I'm at. And I was like, well, that's weird because it, it's busy over here. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, yeah, because you're at the Talking Stick Resort in Scottsdale, right? And I'm like, Mom, I'm on the other side of town. <laughs> in Arizona, there is a Talking Stick Resort in Scottsdale, which is way far from me. It's like a 45 minute drive. And there's a Talking Stick Resort Arena and Talking Stick Resort, which is like downtown Phoenix. So yeah, <laughs> she was nowhere to be found. At that point, the concert was almost over and she's freaking out. She's like, I'm so sorry, I failed you. And I was like, Mom, I'm sorry you're in Scottsdale because I'm an idiot and got sick. Ah, like it was awful. It was awful, awful, awful. So I just told her, I was like, you know what? Or I'm gonna wait for my friends. I'll just catch a ride with them. You just go back home. Don't worry about me. So she does that. I'm outside and this drunk guy comes up to me and tries to become my friend. And security almost told me to leave or they did tell me to leave. Cause the drunk guy's talking to me. He's like, I love your makeup. These guys are assholes. Like, totally drunk out of his mind and security comes up to me and he's like you guys gotta go I look at him like I don't know who this guy is and he's like oh you're not with him and I go no please save me and he looked at me he's like okay just go so I walk away and they like have to escort him off the premises and I was like there's no way I can like survive so I text my friends and Davis, my mother, my savior, the love of my life, my actual soul sister, born four days apart, comes outside and waits with me while Connor and Michelle watch the rest of the show. She makes sure I don't, I don't die, because at this point I'm literally laying on the ground, like shivering. So anyway, they come out after the show's over, we drive home, I throw up a little bit more, go to sleep, and now we're here. So yeah, that is my Halsey concert experience, mess of a night extravaganza. Only me, right? Only f***ing me. I do have to say I am really sad that I pretty much missed the whole show. It looked absolutely amazing. It looked absolutely gorgeous. Again, I did get to hear most of it from the bathroom before like, I got stranded outside and they wouldn't let me back in. I think I would be a little bit more disappointed if I hadn't seen her before in show. I have, so I am fortunate in that aspect. Also, at one of those shows that I um, went to, I did get to meet her for free. So I really can't complain that this is the one show that I kind of, you know, missed out on, but it's okay. Sh happens, you know, there's always next time. Real quick before I do my outro and you guys click off if you haven't clicked off already because this was like a really sad and depressing ass video. 
I am doing this thing where um, I am reacting to you guys. Where you can send me a video of you dancing, singing, talking, doing poetry, staring at the camera for five minutes. Whatever it may be that you want me to see or if you want to tell me anything, send it to the email that I have listed down below. And I'm going to be making a video at the end of the month, about December 1st, I think is when I'm going to post it. You have all that time to send it. I'm super excited for this. I'm also going to be opening up P.O. Box stuff that you guys have been sending me. It's all in a pile that I haven't touched. It's been so hard not to open it. Ah, it's so hard. It feels like Christmas morning, but like not. You know what I mean? That's the thing. If you want to participate in it, go for it. I'm super excited to see your guys' faces and hopefully you guys are pumped to see me cry because that's probably what's gonna happen. Anyway, that's my video. I've talked long enough. You guys know what to do if you liked it, if you want to see more. There you go. I'll see you in the next one. I promise I'll look better. I'll feel better. It'll be better. <laughs> okay. I love you guys. Remember to stay weird, always be real. And I'll see you in the next one.